Hello everyone. Uh, today we are having another video on um, how to make yes no questions in Turkish language. Um, this uh, yes no questions are very different from uh, English. Like, I mean, it's. Uh, it's really different. There's a suffix, and that suffix comes according to the harmony of sounds uh, of the last syllable of the word. And any word in a sentence can get that suffix to be a yes-no question. Um, well, I will explain it more in the examples that I'm going to give you. But first of all, let's go through the um, chart of the harmony of vowels to see how this suffix is going to be used. Then we'll continue with the examples and I will elaborate on the examples more. Okay, here's the chart. We have the thick sounds here. We have O, U, O and U, and uh, we have the thin sounds, U, U, E and E. So if we have the sound of O and U at the end of uh, the last syllable of any word, um, we are going to add the suffix M. Actually, this is not a suffix. This is a uh, question word. This is a yes-no question uh, word, which comes just uh, right after the um, questioned part of the question. And that's why it matches the last syllable of that word. And if we have a and E in the, in the last syllable, um, the word me will appear beside that word. If we have O and U, the word mo is going to appear beside that word. And if we have U or U at the end of at the last syllable of the word, we are going to have mu at the uh, sorry, we, have, we are going to match it with M beside the word. Okay. In this sentence, let me read a sentence for you. We have Mahmut bugün okula gitti. Bugün, sorry, bugün means um, today. Okula means to school. Okul means school. Okula means to school. Gitti means went. And Mahmud is the name of a guy. So here we have Mahmud went to school today. Now we are going to make yes no questions out of um, this sentence. And I say yes no questions because um, we are going to ask this yes no questions in. Um, four different ways because we have four words in the sentence. In English, we may ask uh, these four ways of the yes no question with um, our intonation, intonation. We will like emphasize the words that we mean the question is about. But in Turkish, uh, not only with intonation, we show that with the um, question word of m uh, after the word we mean the question. Let's go through the example. You will understand it better. Okay, here we have Ahmed bugün, bugün okula gitti mi? We have me at the end of the sentence after the verb and the question is, did Mahmoud 
go to school today? Did Mahmoud go to school today? We ask about the word whether the guy has uh, gone to school or had, I mean or didn't go to school. What we mean is the action is the uh, verb. We are questioning about the verb. That's why we brought this question word right after the verb. Now let's go to the other example. Here we have Mahmud. Okula mı gitti? Mahmut bugün okula mı gitti? And we have the question word. You see, we have chosen uh, this m form according to the vowel of a. And here we have chosen me according to the vowel of e. Um, okula mı gitti. So we have the same word, but in the form of harmony, um, harmonious with this last vowel we have in this word. Okay, so the meaning of the question with the intonation is going to be, did Mahmud go to school today? So we are asking about the school. Like we were expecting it to go somewhere else today. So we emphasize on this school in um, our intonation when we have the uh, sentence in English. But in Turkish, we, if you want to emphasize the uh, questioned part of the question, we are going to add this word m, uh, right after the part we question. We ask. Okay, next, where's the mouse, okay, we have Mahmud bugün mü okula gitti, which means, did Mahmud go to school today? So we are asking about this word, which means today, bugün, which means today, and we have the questioning word, um, mu in harmony with the last syllable of this word and we have it right beside the word to emphasize that we are quite questioning uh, we are asking about this part of the whole sentence did Mahmud go to school today? so this is a yes no question but we are emphasizing on today part here we have Mahmud mu bugün okula gitti. The question is going to mean, did Mahmud go to school today? Like another person, let's say, was supposed to go to school. So we are asking about the subject here, and we have mu choose. We have a mu, and we uh, have chosen mu in harmony with the last syllable of this word okay so as you see whenever we are questioning a word and we are emphasizing a special part of the sentence we bring the questioning um, we bring the um what's this the questioning word right after the word we are trying to emphasize on Okay, I hope it was understandable. Now, here we have um, the um, questioning words. We like we have WH question, WH words uh, to question in English. And uh, here we are going to have the words that we make question with. It's not yes, no question, it's other questions. Okay, the first one is ne, which means what. Neyi. Here, it means what, but it is used to ask the object part of the sentence. So, we ask about the object 
part of the sentence with neyi. We have kim, and kim means who. We have kimi, uh, which means who, but we are asking about a person which is uh, mentioned in the object part of the sentence, not subject. We are asking about the object who. Okay. We have kimlar, kimlar, which means who, but in plural form. Mm -hmm. Then there's nussel. Nussel means how. We have hangisi, which means which one. Hangisi. We have hangi, which means which blah, 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 blah. We have kachtane. Kachtane here. Kachtane means how many. Kachpara, it means how much money when you're asking about the um, price of something. You can say kach or only kach. Uh, can also yeah, say only uh, kach or you can say kach para. Kach kilo it means how many kilos. You have ne zaman. Ne zaman. Zaman means time. Ne means what. It means when. Nerede or nerede. You may hear nerede or nerede. Both of them are the same. But in written language, we have like nerede. And uh, it means where. We have nereye. And this is um, like where to or to where. Um, and there's a destination. Here we have saat kaçta, which means... What time? Okay, saat means clock. And zaman means time. And ne zaman means when. Saat kaçta means what time. Okay. Let's go through some examples. Here we have um, Kim. Sen mi, ben mi? Which means who? You or me? Here we don't have the... Um, I didn't write the um, meaning of or literally. But when we ask the question like this, there is a kind of or meaning appearing there. Okay. So we have kim. Sen mi, ben mi? It means who? You or me? And I've, um, I've highlighted with different colors so you can um, see which uh, part means what. Next example, nasıl, şöyle mi? Which means how, like this. Nasıl, şöyle mi? How, like this. Okay, here we have hangisi. Bu mu, şu mu? Hangisi? Bu mu, şu mu? Okay, which means, which means which one? This or that? Hangi renk? Mavi mi, mor mu? It means which color? Blue or purple? Nerede? Burada mı? Orada mı? Orada mı? It means where? Here or there? I'll read it again. Nerede? Burada mı? Orada mı? Okay, we have ne zaman, bugün mü, 
Yarın mı? Şimdi mi? Sonra mı? Again. Ne zaman? Bugün mü? Yarın mı? Şimdi mi? Sonra mı? Which means when? Today or tomorrow? Now or later? Okay. Let's go to the next page. Here. I have some other examples. We have kimi means who. Ahmet'i mi? Songül'ü mü? Selin'i mi? Here we have all these um, names. Um, these are names of people. And uh, they're special names. So when we have kimi, we are asking about um, who in um, object position. So here we say like who? Ahmet, Songül, Selin. As you see, we will um, put nothing uh, more than our uh, intonation to um, utter a question. But here we need to uh, put this me word, um, t of course, in harmony with the last syllable of the uh, word. Uh, and you say we should bring this questioning word to uh, show the yes-no question in this form. Next. Okay, here we have kaç tane? Üç mü, iki tane mi? Which means how many? Three or two? Okay, this one. Nereye, eve mi, işe mi? Which means where? And like to where? Where are you going? To home or to work? Home means ev, and work means ish. Saat kaçta? Beşte mi? Dörtte mi? Here we have what time? At five or at four? Okay, we have some other questions. There are some um, sentences and phrases that uh, you may use them daily uh, in daily conversations. Let's go through them. Here we have gerçekten mi? Which means really. Gerçekten mi? Which means really. Doğru mu? Which means is that true? Doğru mu? Is that true? Yalan mı? Is it a lie? Yalan mı? Means is it a lie? Am I lying to you? That's good. It's a kind. It has a kind of meaning. Like, am I lying to you? To you? You think I'm lying to you? Hmm? Okay. Here we have öyle mi? Which means is it so? Really? Seriously. <laughs> okay, here we have öyle değil mi? It means isn't it so? Öyle mi? Is it so? Öyle değil mi? Isn't it so? Here we have olur mu öyle şey? Which means is such a thing possible? And they use this sentence like oh no, please, um, do not uh, even mention, I mean, what we have done to you, like, um, when they are thanking you or you are thanking them. I mean, this sentence must be, can be uh, said by someone. Like, um, we say, thank you so much, and you were um, really kind, sorry for bothering you. And in the answer to, uh, like, sorry, because of bothering you, one may say, olur mu öyle şey? It means that, is such a thing possible? I'm not even bothered. Okay. Uh, yes. And here we have 
uh, the different shapes of the word m in um, uh, when they are used by the subject pronouns. Guys, this is going to be <laughs> okay. Uh, here we have miyim, uh, which will be in four shapes like miyim, muyum, muyum, and muyum. I didn't go through them, but anyway, this letter is going to, um, I mean, this e here. There's a mouse. This e here is going to change accordingly uh, to the uh, word beside um, to the last syllable of the word beside this. Okay, here we have misin, and we have it in four shapes. Like we have misin, musun, musun, and misun. We have me already, and we used it in different situations. Miyiz is for bees, and we have miyiz, muyuz, muyuz, and miyuz. We have misiniz in four shapes. We have musunuz, musunuz, and misunuz, accordingly. I mean, according to uh, the last syllable of the word beside them. And for onlar, which is plural, um, we don't have a different form. We use m. I mean, this is not plural, and uh, we we don't need to make it plural. But this one is plural. This one is plural. So these ones are different. Okay. So we have ban miyim. It means am I? San misin means are you? Blah blah blah. Uh, o bu shu m. Um, like it's like he is he or is she or is it blah blah blah. Here we have biz miyiz, which means are we blah 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 blah. And here we have siz misiniz, and here we have are you blah 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 blah. And we have onlar mı, which means are they blah blah blah. Okay, here uh, I'm going to have some. Um, examples with different subject pronouns. Let's see. Okay, here we have ban hostomium. Ban hostomium, which means, am I sick? Am I sick? San emisin, which means, are you okay? Do you feel good? Are you okay? And o küçük mü? Which means, is that small? O küçük mü? Is that small? Biz deli miyiz? Biz deli miyiz? Which means, are we crazy? Are we crazy? And we have, siz yorgun musunuz? Siz yorgun musunuz? Which means, are you tired? Are you tired? Here we have onlar büyük mü? Onlar büyük mü? Which means are they big? Are they big? Okay. Do I have more examples? No. Um, guys, here we come to the end of the video. I uh, hope that uh, this video was helpful for you. If it is so, please give thumbs up and you are free to subscribe to the channel to see more videos when they are uploaded. Please take your notes. If you need to watch this several times, um, do so because you're going to need it. If you have any questions, please write in the comments and share the video for those who need it okay thank you guys um see you on next video good luck